Okay, so in this one we're asked to get the square root of a complex number. Okay, so uh, like real, unlike real numbers, we don't have a method for getting the square root of complex numbers, but we use the quality of complex numbers to help us out. So the first thing we do is we let that square root equal uh, the same as in the last example, okay, or any example with these, we know our answers are going to be in the form a plus bi, and they've told us that here. So I just put my uh, square root complex number equal to that, okay? Now, and remember it says answers here as well, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Now, the next thing then is, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to square both sides. So that's going to give me minus 15 plus 8i, equal to a plus b i squared. So then when I square that, I get minus 15 plus 8i equal to a squared, square the first, twice the product, plus 2a b i plus the square on the last, which is b squared i squared. Okay, now uh, next thing then, we're going to change i squareds equal to minus ones. So that's going to give me uh, plus two a b i minus b squared, because we're after changing that i squared to be equal to minus one. Okay, now at this stage, we put reals equal to reals and imaginaries equal to imaginaries. So picking those out, I have minus 15 as real because there's no i's attached. I have a squared to be real because there's no i's attached. And I have minus b squared to be real because there's no i's attached. And in terms of imaginary then, I have plus 8i, which is imaginary, and plus 2abi, which is also imaginary. Okay, so for my reals then, so for reals equal reals, my pen is not working great, apologies. It's, um, I'm going to put down a squared, so I'm just going to right hand side equals a squared plus b squared equals, fifth, equals negative 15. Okay, so I've just wrote it the other way around so to have the variables first. Okay, and then for my imaginary, equal to imaginary. Now remember when you're doing this part, you don't write down the i's. So I have, uh, again, I'll put my algebraic part first. So 2ab is equal to 8. Now we have a bit of a difficulty this time because they both contain the, both the variables a and b. In the last example, we were able to get one variable first of all from one of the equations. So what we'll do here, we'll say that uh, we'll find what a is in terms of b. So we can say that a b equals 4 dividing by 2. So that would mean that a is equal to 4 divided by b. Now we'll go back over here then and we'll change that uh, a into 4 over b and we need to square that. We also have then, uh, sorry, now just go back to this. That was actually, if I look, that's an a squared minus b squared, just going back and looking here. So minus b squared equals minus 15, okay? So that's equal to 16 over b squared. Minus b squared is equal to minus 15. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply all the way across by b squared. Okay, just to get rid of this thing on the bottom because we're not going to be able to handle that very well like that. So 16, now b squared times another b squared is going to give me b to the 4. And don't forget you also have, you have to also put that at the other side of the equation. So minus 15 b squared. Okay, now we need to write this as highest powers to lowest powers. So that will be minus b to the 4 plus 15 b squared and plus 16 equal to 0. And then we'll just do a sign change, which will give us b to the 4 minus 15b squared minus 16, which is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation, even though that it's written to the power of 4. Okay, because look at you have powers of four here, but you have squares in here. Okay, so our factors are going to be same idea again. So we have b squared and b squared are the factors of b to the four. 
And then I'm looking for the factors of 16 that will give me, that will sum to give me 15. So the factors of 15 that will sum to give me 16 are obviously 15 and 1. Or sorry, 16 and 1. So I'll use a minus 16 and I'll use a plus 1. Okay, so this then, if I look at this one here, this will give me that b squared is equal to 16. And this will give me that b squared is equal to minus 1. Now, this one here has no solutions, okay, because if you look, this would lead to b being equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 1, which is imaginary, okay. Now, if you look at the top of the question, okay, the actual a and b themselves are real numbers. Okay, the A and B themselves are real numbers. So that solution there is not valid. So if we look at the other solutions, then we have B squared will be equal to plus or minus the square root of 16. So B will be equal to plus or minus the square root of 4. Okay, now we, uh, we need to find our A's that go with those then. So we'll say if B is equal to 4, this implies that a is equal to, so a from up on the top here was 4 over b. So this will be 4 over 4, which is 1. So that will give us the complex number 1 plus 4i. If b is equal to negative 4, this implies that a is equal to 4 divided by negative 4, which is equal to negative 1. So this implies then that a is equal to negative 1 plus 4i. So there's both my solutions.